Hello, my name is Joost and today I will show you how you can log in to the MakeMyPattern.com website. First I will show you um, that you can log in by using one of your existing accounts from either Facebook, Twitter, Google or Yahoo. After that I will show you what to do if either you don't have an account of any of those sites or if for some reason you prefer to set up a separate account on MakeMyPattern.com. So let's first go to the website. We open our browser and go to makemypattern.com um, unless you already logged into the site um, at the top right of the page in the main menu, main menu you will have a, a login button and a sign up button um, as I said we will first um, look at logging in with an existing account from either um, Facebook, Twitter, Google or Yahoo and if you're reusing an account you don't have to worry about signing up you can go straight to login and will create your account if you've never logged in before. So, when I click on login, you can see the different buttons for the different accounts that you can use. Um, down here, you can um, click if you don't want to use that, but we'll talk about that later. For now, I'm going to, as an example, be using Twitter. So, I'm going to be logging in with a Twitter account and I'll um, click on this button that says sign in uh, with Twitter. Now what that will do is it will take me to the Twitter website and it will Twitter will inform me what the the uh, site is trying to do. So as you can see, it says authorized make my pattern to use your account. This ap application will be able to retweet from your timeline, see who you follow. These are actually the basic minimum rights. We are not asking for anything funny. We're just asking for read access to your account. Now we don't want to read your. Um, tweets from your timeline we don't want to see who you follow but just so you know this is all public information we can see that by just going to your Twitter account the only thing we want to be sure is that you're a person and that we can differentiate you from another person um, so I'm already logged in on Twitter with this uh, account that I sometimes use um, if you weren't logged in you would first see a login prompt from Twitter and then afterwards you would get this screen so I click the sign in button to say OK, I'm ready. And then you'll be redirected back to the website. This may take a few moments. There we are. Now, since you've never logged in before, this is your first time, we've created you a new account and um, you get a little message. You will only get this the first time. It says, Welcome, Twitter user. You've been authenticated with Twitter. We've created your account. We have populated your account with your account info on Twitter. Next time you log in, it won't take that long as we'll only need to authenticate you. So, that's basically what has happened now. We've created an account. As you can see, we've taken the the, the profile image of um, the account that I used. It's not my personal account because I'm already uh, I have already have an account. So with my personal account, I used another account, and this is what it is. Now, there's one thing that's particular to Twitter, and that is that Twitter does not um, hand out the email address of the users. So we've created you a temporary email address here. You see, Twitter user blah blah blah. It's makemypattern.com. If you want that we have your email address so we can contact you, you should edit that, you should change that. Um, you don't have to because, to be honest, we don't contact our users. Um, up until now we've never done that. Um, but if in the future there's something important and you want us to be able to reach you, you might want to change that. Although, I guess we could reach you to Twitter. So, you're now logged in and that's how it goes. Logging out. Um, it's actually a little bit hidden. It's in settings. And then if you click log out here, it asks you if you're sure. And then there you go. Um, you're being logged out. So that's how you sign up. The, the process is similar for Facebook, Google, or Yahoo. Um, if you're going to be reusing an account, you just go straight to login and you can log in. If you don't have an account, it will be created for you. Okay, so now let's have a look at what happens if we don't want to reuse um, an existing account, but we want to create a specific account on the makemypattern.com website. Now, what we do then in the top menu on the right, uh, you click the sign up button and that will take you to the sign up page. Now, once again, you're invited to reuse one of your existing accounts, but we don't want to do that. So at the bottom, we click do it the old fashioned way with username and password. Now, to create an account, you need three things. You need a username, let's say something, something. You need a password, some password, and you need an email address. There we go. Looks good. Sign me up. 
and then it says you've got mail. Now let's have a look at our mailbox and we don't have mail. Actually we may have mail right there in our spam folder. Be careful because these sort of automated emails tend to have, you know, end up in your spam filter. So there we go. Welcome, make my pattern. Um, there's a link there. You see the email is sent to something because I have a few others there that I used before in testing. This is the one. Um, you have a link there that you click and then it says, yay, your account is activated, please log in below. So, um, sorry about that. Our username is something something. We chose a password. Let's hope I remember it. Not sure what happened there. There we go. Now, since you created your account manually, um, if we go to settings, this is the information that we have from you. We don't have a picture, we only have your username and your email address. Okay. Now, if you want to add any of these, you can do that. I might explain to do that in another video, but it will take us too long here. As you can see, you can no longer log in, sign up, because you're logged into the site. If you want to log out, that's right here. So we're now on the settings page. Logging out, you can do that right here. Log me out. So now you have an account created. You don't have to go through sign up anymore. You can just go to login and just say, I'm a guy who wants to log in with username and password. I'm Mr. Something Something. Log in. There, it works. It's a little bit more effort than reusing an account, but if you want to use, if you want to do it this way for whatever reason, you can, and that's fine. So there you go. That concludes our uh, little video on how to sign up and or log in on the site. Um, see you next time, talk to you next time when we explain something else.